Jesus, 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 praise your blessed name. Dear Heavenly Father God, we thank you for your blessings, for your understanding, for your truth, Father God. We thank you that you have blessed us with your life, that you have blessed us with a breath, that you have blessed us with our eyes to see and our heart to hear with, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you have blessed us, that you have blessed us with the law, the commandments, to understand right from wrong, and as well as Christ Jesus, the living Son within our hearts, within our minds and bodies, to have the urge and desire and want to be even as perfect as you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, this we pray to God be the glory. Hallelujah and amen. So today we're going to be reading in Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, he tells us, he says, If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit. Now that is the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Now the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, Now he tells us here, he said, if any fellowship of the spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like minded, that we have the same mind, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. So this is the mind of Christ. What mind do we have? We have the mind of Christ. As we read the word of God and we continue to stay in his word, his word is literally embedded within our minds, within our hearts, so that we may be like minded, the same mind of Christ on one accord. And that is with only one spirit, the Holy Spirit of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem another better than themselves. Look not on every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto unto death even the death of the cross wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father wherefore my beloved as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and disputings, that ye may with, be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding forth the wor word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy as shortly unto you, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state, for all seek their own not the things which are Jesus Christ's, but ye know the proof of him, that as a son with the Father, 
he hath served with me in the gospel. Him therefore I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I supposed it necessary to send to you Ephroditus, my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, but your messenger and he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all and was full of heaviness because that ye have ha heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was sick nigh unto death, but God had mercy on him and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Now this sickness in the word of God, it states that if we take bread, if we eat of this word, if we eat of the gospel, coming unto him unworthy, then we may become sick. I sent him therefore the more carefully that when ye see him again, ye may rejoice, and that I may be the less sorrowful. Receive him therefore and the Lord with all gladness and hold such in reputation, because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life, to supply your lack of service toward me. Amen. Now we're going to go into the part where he tells us, Now he tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24, he says, And when he had given thanks, to, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death until he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and of the blood of the Lord Jesus. But let this man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of the cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drink of damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. So this right here tells us that as we come to the word of God, we may come to the word of God unworthily and not examining ourselves. We may become sick because of this word. Why do we become sick? Because the unholy body that had received the Holy Spirit is being purged of its unholiness, that it may become holy. Dear Heavenly Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your gentle understanding. We thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, because you continue to provide for us and you continue to give us provision. Father God, we glorify you, magnify you in all things as all things are done for you, in you, and through you, and even by you. In Jesus' mighty blessed name. Hallelujah, blessed be. Hallelujah, bless your name.